YouTubers Live OMG Edition and YouTubers Live 2 paint very different pictures of what it must be like to be an internet personality. If we do believe YouTube is live OMG edition, uh, YouTube is effectively a shut-in, only leaving the house to collect awards from 100,000 subscribers. Life feels like a battery farm for serial killers. But if YouTube is live too is to be believed, YouTube Live is a game of Animal Crossing, it's about swimming around in the sun, relaxing, perhaps doing some fishing, and then Instagramming, sorry, insta-filing a picture of your meal. We suspect the reality is somewhere in the middle. <coughs> YouTubers Live 2 is a significantly different game from YouTubers Live OMG Edition. We get the feeling that the first game poured money through Uplay Online Letterbox as this is quite the glow up and a large amount of the money can be seen up on the screen. Sure, you're still doing similar stuff to OMG Edition, collecting reaction cards to create quality clips and then jigsawing them together to make YouTube videos, but it's the dozens, no hundreds of other things to do that makes YouTubers Live 2 a completely different prospect than the first. YouTuber Live 2 is a live simulation game when you literally try to become an influencer. If you missed this first game, worry not, because the sequel begins with some backstory filling you in. Then your loyal agent and manager Javier pop up with the invites you to the new tube city, the world you'll be rising to stardom in. From here you have the option of living in a port, downtown or city hall depending on what suits your style. The port is described as chilled and modern, plus you get to live on a beach with had me sold at suit to the wives of my newly created influencer wannabe. Javier meets you an initially quite basic home and introduces you to the friendly helper drone, I name mine Jeff Goblin, only for fun. Oh Jeff blows your travels and performs a series, a series of tasks to help you out on your journey to be a hit YouTuber. From here, from here on out, your mission is to gain as many subs as possible and keep the wives happy. You can do this by recording and editing videos along with posting on social media, all the while compelling various quests around the city to earn some coin and build your relationships with your neighbors. Obviously, the main objective of the game is to become a professional YouTuber and involves spending a lot of time filming and editing videos to post on YouTube, the game's leading video platform. You can either film from your home or to your computer, your game console or where you out and about your travels. This is where the issues with Sims posting start to arise because there were no clear instructions on how exactly to carry out this process. So it was mainly guesswork. While the recording part was simple enough to grasp through the trial and error, the editing part was the most frustrating. At first the recorded video is split into four clips that have to fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, not all the parts join correctly, which hugely affects your score and the quality of your video. As you possess through the game, the options for making clips connect will grow, although the main wasn't much of a tutorial on how exactly this work it again. Meaning it leaves you to put two and two together yourself. Also gaining 5 stars on recording is somewhat pointless when the editing hugely brings down your overall score and there is nothing you can do to change it. For the first few hours, a typical day in YouTubers Live 2 starts out with the players checking their phones for commission to earn some side hustle cash. Often this means you'll need to deliver a package from a store to a person about town or take photo with something specific in the background. While playing Gopal, you need to keep an eye on for trading hashtags like boxing or dancing or something else. If you are lost, check in Flist and uh, see if people have posted about the trending topics, as they usually point you in the right decision. You'll need to get your camera drone ready for interviewing, streaming or snapping a photo, followed by some video editing and uploading back home. After you collected some coin and have upgraded your editing software, drone and gaming setup, you'll start earning more cash from your videos. However, the freedom you have to explore town ends up kind of trying you down to creating the kind of content the game wants you to create and not uh, the way other around. 
The town itself is cute and lively, don't get me wrong, in fact it's like a social media minded harvest moon, but after the first 5 hours I was hoping to be farther into my own channel and content, and not reliant on running clear across town to participate in dance off, only to run back to my house and try to edit a gaming or random interview. And yet YouTubers life may be tricky and noisy, but sorting through the mess begins to approach fun. Fever and fever of the keywords are confusing. The open world starts to make sense and the game loop emerges. Make videos, get cash, buy equipment, make battle videos, more cash. It's Animal Crossing in designer headphones. As someone who trended to see at idea of carry influence and social creators, YouTube's life too made us change our minds for 20 hours or so. It must be addictive living that life and certainly a lot of work. It almost makes us to give it a go. That's all for today folks, thank you for watching, don't forget to comment to subscribe and also all the links will be in the description. Peace and have a good one. Bye.